Mess, before you were, you were one of them, how sexy did you find men wearing mini skirts and sword and sandal films? I mean, if you look at this, the Scottish people, they're doing pretty well. Uh, but I never imagined that I would actually uh, be performing in a skirt myself. Uh, I think we, we're pretty sexy in there. You know, girls have difficulties with short skirts, even getting yeah. out of a car. You look at that paparazzi footage of Paris Hilton or Lindsay Lohan. So yeah. how about you falling over all the time? Uh, the same thing. I mean, it was, it was flexible, but the problem was, as you say, it keeps coming up. And uh, we don't want to do that in the film. So uh, after, it took us a while. After a couple of weeks, we came up with a genius idea to kind of sew it together. And that solved a lot of problems. In many sword and sandal films, those the guys have uh, waxed chest and legs. So mm -hmm. how happy were you that you were allowed to keep all your hair? Uh, well, uh, I was pretty happy. I mean, you don't see my chest in this film, so that's cool. And uh, but I had more than just my own hair. I had like an, a massive beard and uh, extremely long hair. And I was happy for the look. I, I loved it. But it was also getting pretty annoying after a couple of weeks. It was hard to sleep with it. Has your family already seen you with those uh, little braids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we shot the film and it, it took like six months. So my family saw me. I looked like a homeless per person when I was not in costume. You really had to be in a good shape. So what was your workout and your regime? Well, I, I, I started running and driving my bicycle a little extra and, and, and do a little more push-ups to get ready. Uh, and then once we started shooting the film, it was just uh, hard work every day. So everybody got in shape by doing it. You seem to have a lot of fun juggling around with the swords, so um, how mm. many time did that take you to practice that? Mm, not that much. I mean, I, I tried it before. I've, I've done a couple of things with swords before, and as a kid I was a huge fan of Bruce Lee, so I was constantly running around with nunchucks doing things. I had um, some kind of relationship to it, uh, but the stunt guys were really cool and, and taught us some tricks. Was there kind of a competition between you guys, you and Sam Worthington, who could do better? Of course. That's what it's all about. Uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, impossible to, to avoid that when you've got a lot of boys with weapons in their hands, so yeah. And who was best? Oh, of, of course that was a ridiculous <laughs> question. Did you never get injured doing this? Yeah, yeah we, we got injured right away, uh, every day, uh, even when we were practicing, so uh, nothing serious though. I mean, but that, uh, uh, that's, that's part of the game. It's, it's impossible to do this kind of thing without being bruised up. You had to be very tanned in the movie, so what mm -hmm. did you do to look like that? Did you go into the sun or is it all spray tan? Actually, I was in uh, Thailand with my family uh, two weeks before we shot the film, so I came back all ready. You had to be very sportive to, for your role, so how much of a sporty person are you in real life? I'm super sporty. Uh, I, I used to be a gymnast for many years uh, and um, I do all kinds of sports now as well. What kind of sports would that I be? I drive a bicycle, I play soccer, I play handball, I play basketball, I do some boxing once in a while. Talking about soccer, there's the World Championship coming yep. up. So uh, which is the team you uh, Well, uh, let's put our money on Germany and Denmark in the final then. We've been there before.